All right, well at some point in order to make a working solar panel you're going to need to connect the wires to this whole deal. So I'm going to show you what I am doing here. It's going to be a lot different from what you've ever seen anybody do, I am sure. I mean, not the connecting to the bus terminals, but how I connect the wires to the solar panel and what I do with it. So here's the, the bus wire. And what I'm doing is I take this little pigtail. It's just a little 16 gauge wire. And, you know, generally you want to run really big wires from your solar panels, at least 10 gauge. But another thing you can do is use really short lengths of smaller wire because there's very little voltage drop across this very short length. It's, uh, I think, way less than a tenth of, uh, of a volt. I think it's more along the lines of a hundredth of a volt. And I've drilled these straight down and I'm going to drill these straight through the roof on both sides. So I'm going to go down about three inches through the roof and under the roof is where I'm going to run the really big cables. So right here I just got this little short length and I'm just going to connect it to, I'm going to bend it over, fold over some of the bus wire. I'm going to grab my grab my crimper. I'm going to give it an attempt at a crimp, and then I'm going to go ahead and solder it afterwards because. So I'm just not really convinced that this crimp is going to do a lot of good. Just because I have so much little space to work with it. So. And this bus wire is pretty thin too. So I'm going to snip that off. After give it a little bit of solder and bend it back over. So let's see where's my where's the hot side of this? Let's give me some flux first. Just heating up as much of this as I can to let the solder flow through the cable and then the bus wire. So there's one big continuous connection. And let's see if I can get the other side too. cools, I'm just going to bend it back over. I'm going to snip off this extra stuff and let's see. 
And then when I'm done, I'm once I install the whole thing, I'm going to put my caulking all the way around the outside. We're going to drill straight through and stick this pigtail straight through part of the wood frame, actually. That way it's uh, a good way to keep the leaks out. So we'll go part of the roof frame, the wood frame in the roof, and then we'll connect the fat cables underneath there, coming from the solar panel. And with very little voltage loss, and also no need to run fat cables all over the roof where they could potentially come loose, shatter the, the solar panel. And you can see these little places here where just from handling it, I have uh, I've shattered parts of, there's all kinds of little fractures and stuff in parts of it. Not in most of it, mostly in this part because it's on the corner. It had uh, has had a lot of tension applied to it in all different directions. So, this is how I'm doing it. Definitely not how everybody's doing it, but you know, why not uh, give it a try? I don't have to have lots of little con have conduit and little boxes running all over the roof. I can still maintain a, a flat roof.